You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's morning prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we thank you for watching over us last night and for bringing us safely to this day. Sacred Heart of Jesus, you are worthy of all thanks and praise. Have mercy on us. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we offer this day to you. Fill our hearts with humbleness, compassion, mercifulness and love, O Sacred Heart, O Lord. May our hearts be united to your Sacred Heart. Grant that we may be transformed into your image, O living bread from heaven. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we had not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts, so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, we do always and everywhere give you thanks and praise, for you are holy, holy, holy Lord. You are indeed the fountain of all goodness. We thank you for the immeasurable stream of mercy that pours out freely from you, our adorable heart. We rejoice at knowing that your forgiveness and compassion are constantly manifested in our life because of your unending grace. Let all who acknowledge you, King of Kings, praise you and thank you day and night. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian Church. We especially pray for persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. Lord, we pray that you send your Holy Spirit upon them to fill their hearts with a total and complete trust in you. That the hearts may be filled with courage, with contentment, with hope. And more importantly, Lord, with a great love, a love so great that they will be able to love even those who persecute them. And we pray for those who persecute them, that your gentle hearts may touch their hearts, that your Holy Spirit will enter into their hearts, and that their, their hearts may be softened, and that their eyes may be opened, and that they may see you and become your followers. Lord, we also pray for all bishops, especially we pray for Archbishop Ross and Bishop Hampton. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious, and all people. And Lord, we pray for Evelyn. Evelyn has asked us to please pray for her marriage uh, and her husband, Eric. She asked us to pray that her marriage may be completely restored, that the communication between her and her husband be restored, and that their marriage may be delivered from adultery, and that her husband, who we pray is delivered from adultery, may return home soon and that his heart may be softened. 
to you also pray that we lift her up in prayer and that you may lift her up, Lord, so that she can forgive him completely and so that she can let go and let you handle things and this entire situation so that she can remain patient. Also, Lord, she asks that we pray that she may lose her fear, her sadness, her loneliness, her anxiety, and her anger. We pray for Mary. Lord, we pray that you be by Mary's side and that you help her as she engages in the sale of properties. Help her to be knowledgeable and confident. Help her have the correct answers when a customer asks. And help her retain and understand all the information that is given to her. We pray for Jamel. Have mercy on him. And we pray for Merrick, Star, and Jamel's dad, Robert. And Robert, to get safe and right with you, Lord. We also pray that uh, a girl that he has feelings for, Jeannie, and him may uh, grow their relationship according to your will. We pray for those who are sick. We pray for those who have cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, or any other form of addiction. We pray for grieving families. We pray for those who are homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. And Lord, we pray for an end to domestic violence. We pray for an end to the abuse of women and children. And we pray for an end to abortion. And Lord, we also bring to you the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy. The gift of distinguishing between spirits. The gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues. The gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love. All according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord Christ, in your mercy, you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit, so that when we speak, a message may be given to us to make known with boldness the mystery of the gospel. Heavenly Father, we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray according to your will that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent be baptized and be saved by your unending grace. King of peace, as you ask, 
whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon you, servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. And now as our Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving, honoring, and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart all that can displease you. I take you a sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, annihilate in me, all that can displease or resist you, imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart, for in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. This concludes today's morning prayer. I'm glad you were able to tune in and pray with us today. And I hope you'll be able to join us later on today when we do afternoon prayer and evening prayer. A war of uh, ahead. I will be doing uh, at least one of the prayers, the afternoon prayer, uh, on the road. Uh, so hopefully my internet connection and, and the noise level and all that will cooperate. But nonetheless... Um, if you hear a lot of noise or the connection is not that great or whatever, you understand that I'm away from uh, my home base and on the road. And it is a little bit challenge, challenging to do the prayers um, in those circumstances. Uh, I probably should be back in time for evening prayer. But if not, um, I'll do evening prayer out there too. You have a wonderful rest of the day. And may the Lord Christ continue to bless you. Goodbye now.